what is up traders this is Monia and welcome back again so due to public demand you guys were asking me to do uh, analysis on indices also so i decided that uh, i'll post both the forex analysis and also the indices analysis but then the problem that we have with the indices is uh they they keep on moving right they don't stop like the forex market on the weekend at this sunday or, or what so the moment i post the market still moves so you guys have to catch them these analysis really fast and to do that kindly click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you're notified the second that i post and uh you can actually trade with me trade the analysis with me right so it, it is important that you are able to to catch this in time because indices are always moving so by the time you might see this it might be too late right so kindly subscribe like turn on notification bell and wait for this we'll be posting this every sunday every sunday i'll be posting these analysis so i'm gonna start off with v75 we're gonna do v25 we're gonna do v100 and uh, maybe if you get time to do more i'll keep posting this analysis so i'm starting off with in a daily time frame and uh i can clearly identify my levels here i can clearly identify this level this is my uh resistance level i can also identify my support level right so this is the current situation with v75 will it has been moving down this was a dip in the market and then the price tried to recover okay and then we got another nice level here let me make it so thin you can see that it has been followed quite a number of times even here even here if you want to continue even here even here right so up to this so this is a nice level that we have so we have three levels so far three major levels that we can look at let me just put this a little bit down okay so we have three major levels currently support resistance for this support then turned out to be the support for this resistance right but mostly price was bouncing but uh so what can we say uh on v75 what is most likely to happen so we had this dip okay we had this dip sorry we had this dip in the market then price came to this point and obviously price is now recovering from this dip right so we're expecting that price is going to target the next support zone and either bounce on that support zone or break out to make this or, or in either bounce on this resistance zone and then the breakout to make this a support zone and use this resistance level okay maybe let's move closer i'll try to use a time frame so that you guys get like an opportunity to ride along okay so i was already in the in a buy position for 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 v75 before i posted this but it's clear you still have the opportunity to push up right maybe let's identify other key levels from the smaller time frame that is if you manage to catch this the moment that i uh, post right but in general price has been obeying this uh so we can see that we have another key area here maybe another one here for price so price actually uh has been bouncing also within these two uh how do you call this within these two key price areas right maybe let's also move on to the one hour time frame i'll end on the one hour time frame so it uh it becomes a sensible analysis for everyone right so from the one hour time frame you can clearly see we've been we've been in a deep right there's something that i want you to see from the one hour time frame i want you to see okay okay 
is another zone here. I don't know what happened, what happened to it. Nice clear zone. So you can see price is bounding where there is the, the, the trend line and the, the zone. Bounced here, it bounced here, it bounced here, it bounced here. We also have this trend line. It bounced here. Right. So what's the next thing? The next thing I think is price going to push up and then either bounce or cross or a, or a breakout. Right. But the key is key key level that we could have uh taken advantage of with these and these right so we're just gonna wait for price to act up but in the uh, in the long in the in the in the in the long one you can see that price has been bullish and you can wait for it to retest this level if you can hold up to this level it will be good again if you go to the four hour time frame You can see that price eventually has to correct back to this level. Price has to come back to this level. Okay, that's all for V75. Let's see V25. All right, daily time frame so that you get the bigger picture. Okay. The daily time frame I can easily identify these zones. You can easily identify this zone as the highest and this one as my lowest, right? On the daily time frame I can see that price is now starting it, price reached uh uh resistance level and it's now trying to push down so price has been pushing up up to this point and now it's kind of kind of pushing back down to test this uh, level again right maybe let's look at for our time frame and get a bigger picture okay still the same thing is being shown by the four hour time frame. You can see that this our this was our resistance level. This is our support and price uh, is bounced from from our resistance level, right? Let's look at the one hour time frame where well, we can clearly get the the trend for this one and maybe add more more zones so here is another obvious zone which was changing you can take it back all the way back to these levels so it just changed to be a support zone and then price pushed up and maybe if we can have a trend line let me remove this you can have a trend line to to clarify this can have this one running up to this point so I can also have another one from here from here up to this point right you can have a key key area key zone here and then I can have another one here so if you manage to see this in time I'm expecting price to bounce you can also have another trend line here and another one sorry and another one at this point at this point so i can see that at this level price pushed up then i can expect it to start moving back up again which is also what i was seeing from the the daily time frame if you can recall right from the daily time frame we can still still that price has to push up right 
let me be retest or we can just enter uh, the long cell and wait for it to be here right so it depends on what on the time you see it okay maybe lastly let's look at fee 100 so this is how i do my analysis most of the time although i do add some uh, some skill to this since i'm used to it but this is basically what i do when i'm analyzing i will also add uh, some intuition into this some experience and i already said i, I already have a master class where i teach this kind of stuff some of you ask if i teach yes i do I have people that i also mentor right so i can stay these key levels and this is a very <laughs> almost very predictable to trade right so you can see that price has reached this rejection point and then it started dropping so already you know you're gonna short if you're patient you can short to this level if not you can search to this um, level right and maybe continue and more positions so this v100 it's almost definite that you're selling we've been selling for a time frame for you to get confirmation you can see it is i don't know why my analysis keeps uh breaking off i don't know but you can see that we have reached the highest of the month i think if i'm not mistaken may okay this was in may june july okay uh this is almost self-explanatory you can have a trend line if you want just to confirm that we are we are at the resistance on and we expect price to start dropping right maybe one more time for those that have subscribed and can jump in right now okay you can see again this is the resistance level and price is pushing down price is pushing down So maybe price wants to attract this level you can also see there was a rejection at that level right there was a bounce at that level so price is most likely going to test that level again here there was a bounce here 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 okay so price is definitely going to come at least up to this point this is for the subscribers and <laughs> those who have turned on the notification bell all right guys so that is up for this week's the volatility index indices analysis right for more information just contact me remember on thursday we have indicators review on friday we have book review sun and sunday we have market analysis and weekly analysis for both forex and indices all right thank you guys for watching until next time